So back again, come to your comfortable seat. And if you are sitting on the ground, find that comfort. If you're seated in a chair, separate your feet a bit. And I'd like you to scooch back. If you have a back to your chair, I really want you to align your spine against the back of the chair. So you're feeling this very tall spine. Whatever seat you're in, we want to find a nice tall spine and then feel grounded, whether you're seated on the ground or you can feel your feet here touching. You want to feel that sense of grounding feet, hips, and then a nice tall lift of the spine. Rest your hands down on your thighs. They can be palms down to just feel the sense of connection and grounding. Palms might go up if you want to feel a little more open and receptive here. Or if you have a favorite hand placement, maybe hands resting in the lap, feel free to make that choice that feels best for you here. And once you find that comfortable seat, close your eyes. And then just let yourself be still here to start out this practice. Just drawing into a place of stillness in both the body and to the mind. And allowing your attention to draw in. So to disengage from the active thinking mind, we draw our awareness inward and connect to the breath within the body. So for a few moments, just simply feel your breath. Just feel the rise of the inhale moving up the body and the gentle fall of the exhale moving down the body. And just simply observe that for a few moments. So again, allowing the attention of your mind to come away from any distractions or thoughts or thinking, and then come to this internal connection to breath. And already noticing that when you start to engage and feel the breath, the sense of peace and calm it brings within, physically and mentally. Now we'll begin to create deeper breaths. So bring your awareness to your seat and just feeling that grounded seat wherever you are seated. And as you begin to take a slow breath in the nose, start to draw that breath all the way up the body, moving from the seat up and through the ribs, up and through the chest. And see if you can draw that breath all the way up to the crown of your head with just a tiny little pause at the top. And then very slowly, breathing out of the nose, let the breath slowly move back down the body. And really just feel that movement and flow touching every part of the body till it settles back into your seat. We'll do a few rounds of that. Inhale slowly, draw the breath up your body, moving from your seat, from your base, creating a sense of lightness as it draws all the way up to the crown. And then slowly letting that breath and the light and the peace move all the way back down into your seat. Let's take a few more rounds. Slow breath in the nose, gently feeling that breath start to rise up and start to open and expand the lungs, the chest, and bringing a sense of light all the way up to the crown. Very slowly releasing the breath back down. I'd like you to take three more rounds of that breath. So just moving at your own pace, creating this visual following the breath up the body, feeling an opening as you draw the breath up. And feeling a gentle, calming relaxation as the breath moves back down. And just take one more round of that breath. And anytime the mind wanders, see if you can just catch it when it does and bring yourself back. The practice of re-engaging in this moment, staying present. Once you've completed that breath, Go ahead and open up your eyes. And if you're 
Seated in your chair, just scooch forward a little so your back is away from the chair so you have room to move your body a bit. But stay nice and grounded through the legs and feet, feeling your seat. And if you're seated on the mat, just stay with a comfortable seat here. Everybody place the hands either on the knees or the thighs so you're creating a strong support. And we're just going to begin moving the body in a circular motion. So really just creating this circle, making sure that you can even curl back a bit here. So that's why you want to be forward on the chair. Very gentle, slow movements. And just creating a sense of fluidity here in the body. And this particular action helps to loosen up the low back and the hip area. But feel free to bring more movement into the upper spine and the sides of the body, maybe even in the shoulders. And then just feel the breath with the movement, just breathing in and out of the, the nose, nice and fluid with this movement you're creating. And then let's go ahead and move in the opposite direction. And if you have any tenderness in the body or tightness, just be gentle. See if you can ease through that to help open up more and help release that. And anytime you want to close the eyes and just draw the attention in more, feel free to do so. And apologize if you can hear my squeaky chair. <laughs> Complete this last circular motion and then pull yourself back up to a tall spine. Still holding on to either the knees or the thighs here. Use your arms to inhale, pull the chest forward and pull the shoulders back so you're stretching the spine. And then as you exhale, just curl and round. So I want you to tuck the belly deeply and tuck the chin in and feel that rounding of the upper back. Inhale, pull the body forward so you're drawing shoulders back, opening chest. Exhale, curl and round, tuck the belly in deeply. And let's keep that going. Inhaling through the nose forward, exhaling through the nose back. Moving with the breath. So already creating this moving meditation. Eyes can be open or closed here. And then creating your own rhythm, your own pace. Feel free to move quicker if you want to awaken a little more or stay slow if that feels better. Just about two more rounds. And then pull yourself up back up to a tall spine. Lift the chest, relax the shoulders. Hands just rest down on the knees and let's begin moving the shoulders up and back. Slightly forward, up and back. So creating this shoulder rolls. So we're just kind of moving up the body here to start to open up and loosen up from any tension. Again, you move at your own pace, but connect your breath with movement. So breathing in and out of the nose. And just starting to feel that whatever tension you might be feeling within this area is starting to move out. Let's move in the opposite direction now. So back up and forward. Maybe keeping a gentle tuck of the chin or even drawing the head down so you're feeling more length to the back of the neck. And just one more round. And then lift up tall again. Let the shoulders soften now. Feel a little more length through the neck here, a little more length of the spine. And now I'll draw the chin right down and begin rolling the head around in the same direction. Very gentle. If you have any neck issues going on, just gently sway the head side to side. If a full circle works, just move at your own pace. Breathing as you move so the breath helps to being uh, gentle movements in. And we tend to hold a lot of tension and stress in the neck and shoulders. So just helping to circulate, awaken and free up a bit here. And then let's move in the opposite direction as well. And throughout the practice, if anything feels terrible, it just isn't feeling good in your body, feel free to modify, uh, modify or skip because we don't want our yoga to have a negative effect. We're hoping to, for it to have a positive effect. <laughs> 
complete the last circle and then bring yourself back up to a nice tall spine again. Good. Draw the belly in just gently here. So you're feeling a little strength and contraction of the navel because then we're going to open the arms. No longer using the support of the arms on the legs. So really holding the spine tall with the strength of the core. Moving with the breath here to just get a little more opening to upper body. Inhale, bring the arms wide all the way up overhead. Now hands could stay apart or touch. And then exhale, spread the arms open wide and bringing them back down. And that's all we're going to do a few rounds. Breath to movement. Inhale like big wings. Spread wide and lift. And as you exhale, open wide and lower. And start to feel this opening filling up in the, the ribs and lungs here. Inhale, expand as you lift. And exhale, slowly lower. So oxygenating the lungs, diaphragm. Clearing out any stagnant energy there helps to boost immune system. One more full round here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep the arms down. Now place your right hand either on the ground if you're seated or grab the side, the leg of your chair if you have access to that front leg. Reach the left arm up and feel the length of the left side. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bend to the right by sliding that bottom arm down the leg of the chair, but keep a nice strong hold there so you're supporting this. Find your range where you're opening up the side body here while using the support of that bottom arm. If this is too much, you could rest your forearm on your thigh and find your side bend that way. And if you're on the ground, your hand can be on the ground as you find the side bend. Now deep breaths into the side here. And just feel this opening, separation to the left side of the lungs, the ribs. And then relax the neck as well. Two more breaths here. If you ever need to support the neck, anytime the arm is up, you could just place the hand behind the neck and hold there and work the elbow. And now lift back up. We're just going to switch it out. So now the left hand will either touch the ground if you're there or grab the side of the chair or maybe rest on your thigh. Lift the right arm and feel the length of the side. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, move into your side bend. So again, using the support of the bottom arm wherever it is at. Feeling this deep, deep stretch and opening to the side body. And then bring the breath in as full as you can breathe. So again, we're using the breath and the posture to just open up from the inside out. Try to relax your neck so the ear might fall to shoulder. And if you need that support, hand can support the back of the neck here. Try two more deep breaths. And then gently lift your body back up. Good. So again, keeping the spine tall and keeping the belly in to help support the body here, open your arms wide. Again, you want to be forward on the chair so you've got room to move the spine a bit. As you inhale, draw the arms back as far as you can, opening the chest and feeling the shoulder blades compress. As you exhale, we're going to curl and round again and bring the hands almost to touch. Tuck the belly in as deeply as you can, so feel that contraction. Inhale, lift up, draw the arms back, open chest. Exhale, curl and round, draw the navel in, hands almost touch. Move with breath. Inhale, lift up. Pull the shoulder blades together. Exhale, curl and round. Two more of these. Inhale, lift up, open wide. Exhale, curl and round. Last one. Inhale, up and open. And exhale, curl and round. Lift back up. Now, if you're seated on the ground or even on the chair, you could turn sideways. Reach back and possibly interlace the fingers together. So again, seated or turn to your side on your chair. If this isn't accessible to interlace fingers, you can reach back with the hands and grab the back of the chair and then pull the elbows and shoulders back and lift the chest. And if you're using the chair, you can start to move the body forward, stretching the arms. And this will create that same feeling of a stretch through the arms and shoulders, opening of chest. Otherwise, you've got your bind here, moving the hands away, lifting the chest. And just take a couple breaths. If you want to release the neck a little more, draw the chin down and feel free to move the head side to side. 
Again, you might be holding the chair, moving the body forward here. Let's stay for one more breath. And then bring your body back up. All right, release the hands to the thighs for a moment. Let the shoulders relax. Feel the lift of the spine and just see if you can feel any shifts already from these movements we've been creating in the breath. So we're gonna get a little more fiery, a little more active now with a, a Kriya movement that's called Prana Shakti. So it's an awakening, energizing movement um, that also helps to boost our immune system and just move and circulate the breath and energy within. It's also strengthening for the arms. You'll do this at your own pace, so you can stay super slow, stop when you need. Otherwise, we'll build it up to a little quicker pace. The Kriyas are done um, in a repetitive nature in order to create the shift that we're desiring to create in the body. So we start by reaching the arms up to about a V here. We're going to spread the fingers wide and then really lift the chest. And if your neck is okay, you can look up. Otherwise, keep it straight. We take a deep breath in through the nose here. And as we exhale, we're going to make fists and we're going to exhale out of the teeth, making a sh sound. And the fists are going to come by the ribs. Shh. And you can bring the chin down for this or keep the head straight. So inhale through the nose, lift and reach up. Exhale through the teeth, drawing the fist by the ribs. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep it going. And you can stay at that pace. Or if you want to get quicker for more activation, you can pick up the pace. As quick as you want. So the quicker you go, the more activating it's going to be, the more strengthening and energizing it'll be. You're still receiving the effects if you're moving slower, as long as you're really extending to your maximum range. Shh, shh, and using the breath. Shh, shh, shh. So again, we're feeling that this breath is opening up deeply into the lungs, front and back side, opening the diaphragm. And you will start to feel the arms here, guaranteed. But see if you can stay with it. This is also developing our capacity to stay when we get to a place of discomfort, to find the strength when we get fatigued. Shh, shh, shh. Try it just a bit longer. Again, whatever pace you're going. Shh, shh. Keep the mind on the breath, on the movement, rather than any discomfort. Mm. Shh, 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 shh. Just a bit longer. You got it. Shh, 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 shh. Good. Inhale. Reach up. Spread the fingers wide. Lift the chest. Pause here. Just hold the breath one moment. Open as much as you can. And as you exhale, relax your hands on your thighs, relax the shoulders, close the eyes for a moment, be still, and just breathe to relax, and just observe the effects of that movement. As the body's still, can you feel that energy moving inside you? Do you feel a little heat, a little tingling possibly? Maybe you're just irritated, <laughs> whatever the experience is, just acknowledge it, notice it and breathe to relax and release anything unwanted. See if you can come back to a peaceful breath, drawing that peace and calm back in. I wanna work the abdominals just a little bit here before we stand. So as you're seated nice and tall, again, either on the ground or your chair, grounded through the feet, lift the chest, take a deep breath in, filling the lungs. Now, as you exhale, I want you to draw your navel to your spine as strongly and deeply as you can, emptying all the breath out and feeling that little contraction of the navel. And then inhale, relax the belly, lift the chest, fill up. Exhale, empty all the breath out. And as you do, draw the belly in as strong as you can. And try a few more of those. Inhale, lift, fill up with the breath in. Exhale, pull the belly in deeply as you empty all the breath out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, belly draws in, emptying all the breath out. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. 
Good. Relax. And we're going to come into a forward fold. So if you're still seated on the ground, you can stay there or maybe you'll extend your legs out straight for this. If you're staying in your chair, you can simply curl forward, maybe bring the hands all the way down. Let the spine round and relax the neck. Take a couple breaths here. Relax the neck completely. Feel free to shake it around and see if you can just feel this release into the low back, possibly the hips. And then we're all going to straighten the legs. So again, if you're seated on the ground, you could extend your legs straight. If you're in your chair, start to walk your heels forward to work to straighten the legs a bit more. And you might be able to reach towards the feet more. Getting the hamstrings, some of us will want to come to stand now. And you can come into a standing forward fold. And hands might not meet the ground. So if you have props to put your hands on, you can. Or just bend the knees until your hands can meet the ground. Let the upper body hang, the head and neck relax, and we're ho uh, helping to now open up the hamstrings by extending the legs. Take some deep breaths here. If it bothers you to bend forward, having the head below the heart, you can hold on to the back of the chair and just go as low as your body allows and try to straighten out the backs of the legs. Oops, I'm kind of out of range. <laughs> Take a couple more breaths here. Try to open up the legs here and feel the release of the spine. And then slowly lift your body up. So if you're seated on the ground and you're using a mat, we'll want to come up to stand now. And you have a choice now to stay seated in your chair the whole time. You can stand without the chair completely or you can have your chair handy to hold on to. So maybe facing the chair at any point if you want support. Okay. I'm going to start with just the standing option. So if you're standing, find a nice, strong, grounded base. Legs can be apart or together, whatever gives you more support and strength. We're going to move through just little half sun salutations here. So as you inhale, sweep the arms up and the hands could either stay apart or touch. Lift the chest. And as you exhale, hands come through the center and we fold forward. And feel free to bend the knees as you fold forward. The next inhale, we come to a flat back, so you'll bring the body forward halfway, press against the legs to lengthen the spine, and then exhale, fold forward again. The next breath in, stand all the way back up, bringing the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart. So that's the standing version. You can do this in the chair. So if you're standing, you'll go through again. If you're seated, inhale, arms up. And exhale, slowly fold forward. You can rest on your thighs or go all the way to the ground. Inhale, come to a flat back. So you can press against your knees, pull the spine and chest forward. And then exhale, slowly release. And as you inhale, come back up, bringing the palms to touch or just up. And exhale, hands to heart. So we have one more option here. You can use the chair as a support for your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, fold forward, maybe keeping the hands on the chair. You might step back more and monitor how low you go. Then as you inhale, use the chair to lengthen the spine. And then exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, stand all the way back up, either keeping the hands or reaching arms up. And exhale, back to the heart. So whatever version you're choosing to do, let's do three more rounds. I'm going to stand. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to a flat back. Pull the belly in strong. And exhale, release forward. Inhale, stand all the way up, bringing the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Two more. And if you're standing and you want to feel a back bend here, feel free to inhale, lift and arch a bit. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. And exhale, fold forward. And inhale, stand all the way up, bringing arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Again, if you're just joining, you can be seated in a chair for this. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. And exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, stand all the way back up. 
And exhale, rest the hands at the heart center. Take a little pause here. Just still the energy, still the body again. Breathe. All right, now we're going to bring another little kind of a Kriya set that helps to strengthen our core to help strengthen the legs, so we'll be using both, but also helps, we're gonna be twisting a little bit here, so rinsing out, detoxing. So we'll have all our versions to test out as well. I'll start standing option. Arms open wide to start, feet at a nice wide distance, and they can even be wider if you want. You can monitor that depending on your range. Take a breath in, lifting and opening wide. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your right hand towards your left foot as the back arm lifts. So you're creating a little twist here, reaching towards the ground. Now you might not be able to reach the ground, you might touch your leg, or you might bend your knees to reach the ground. As you inhale, stand back up. We're gonna go in the same direction, exhale, right hand to left leg, left arm reaches up. Now use the core strength, drawing navel in, inhale, rise. You're also using leg strength here. So we'll keep that option, or you can do it seated. Inhale and exhale, the right hand comes either to the left foot on the ground or resting your arm against your thigh as you try to rotate into a twist. Use the core to inhale back up. And then same direction, exhale, lower and twist. Using core strength, inhale up. Good, one more option here is to use that chair as a support. You can keep the left hand down the whole time. Inhale, right arm open, or actually, yeah, you can keep the right hand on the chair. Inhale here, and as you exhale, you'll twist, and you'll just lower using your hand on the support and draw the back arm up. Inhale, stand, and exhale, find that twist, stretching the legs. All right, let's try five more here, whichever version you're gonna do. So inhale, exhale, twist, bringing right hand towards the foot and left arm up. Core in as you inhale back up, and exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Again, you're finding your range of motion and you can do this in the chair. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Last one, inhale up, and exhale, twist. We're gonna immediately switch to the other side. Inhale up, and now exhale, bring the left hand towards the right leg. Twist the right arm back. Inhale, rise up. Use your core strength there. And exhale, slowly twist, strong legs. Inhale, back up. And exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Strong, slow movements here, engaging the core and the legs. Three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Last one here. Inhale up. And exhale, twist. Okay, now we're going to alternate side to side. So rise back up. Take an inhale. Exhale, first side, twist. Right hand, left leg. Inhale, come back up. And now go opposite side. Exhale, twist. Again, we're using core strength and leg strength here. Inhale up. Opening spine as we twist. Exhale. Inhale up, and exhale. Knees can be bent, you can be in a chair. Inhale up, or using the chair under your hand. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Let's just do one more each side here. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Last one, inhale up, and exhale, twist. Inhale up. And then exhale, take a moment of stillness, bring the hands at the heart. Either sit strong or ground down through your legs. You can be holding the chair for support as well. Breathe deeply. And just feel all that energy and that strength opening in the core and in your spine. Good. All right, one more here, a little bit more for the spine and the navel. So we're just gonna make some twisting actions up right now. So arms can be open. If shoulders are bothered with that, hands could be on shoulders or hands can be hit uh, fists at the heart, or you could even have your hands on your hips for this one. 
So arms are open, and as you inhale, we're just gonna twist left, and as you exhale, twist right. Now have a soft bend to the knees, and try not to rotate your legs and hips, so we're keeping all of this strong. Inhale, twist, exhale, twist. Again, you're gonna move at your own pace. Try not to just move the arms. You wanna rotate from the waist and the navel. Again, you can do this seated in your chair. Again, hands can be on hips, at the chest, or on the shoulders. And you can even be standing here holding your chair, one hand at a time, switching out. If it bothers you to be moving side to side, you can just twist to one side and hold, maybe holding your chair and thigh. Let's keep going a few more breaths. Alternating side to side, whether you're standing, seated, supported by a chair. And if you're holding the twist to one side, switch it to the other. If you're moving continuously, just feel this loosening up, still strong in the legs and the core, and just feeling this rinsing action, cleansing our body, strengthening core. Good, one more each side. And then again, just come to stand. Let's bring the hands back to heart or seated. Sit or stand still, hands at the heart or holding your chair. Just take a moment to feel the body still, but again, all that energy that you're opening up inside. A couple deep breaths. All right, let's stretch out in a downward facing dog. If you're standing, if you're using a mat, you place your hands at the top of the mat, the feet at the back, and just find that nice strong V shape. You can always keep a bend in the knees. You wanna press the arms strong. If you're standing and using a chair, walk the feet back, and then see if you can place your hands on the back of the seat of the chair or the sides, and see how much you can walk your feet back and press your arms against the chair, drawing the chest low, so you can play around with the range. So we're feeling the stretch of the legs, the stretch and strength of the arms. Nice deep breaths here. Take two more breaths wherever you're at, standing down dog or using your chair. If you're... Staying seated, you can just kind of come to this forward fold for a moment, but try to keep a lift and length of the chest. Legs extended, hands can press on the leg, on the thighs or shins. Good. So from down dog, if you are on the ground on a mat, step your right leg forward. We're gonna come into a kneeling lunge. So if this is okay for your knees and you're on the ground, drop the left knee, sink the hips forward. Your hands can be on the ground or blocks or up on your thigh. Most active version, arms can be up. If you're standing here, you can actually step up on your chair, try to move your foot to the back edge of the chair and start to shift the hips forward until you feel a stretch in that left hip flexor. You might even grab the back of the chair. Try to keep the chest up though, rather than rounding the spine. And the action of shifting the hips forward is what's gonna get the stretch into that back hip flexor. If you're seated, you'll turn, shifting, actually I'll go the other way, both knees to the right, and then start to move, uh, drop your left knee down towards the mat. Now you'll wanna hold the back of your chair, and the more you can move this back knee back, you'll feel more stretch into that hip flexor. Take some breaths here, lift the chest to wherever you're at. Long, deep breaths. Good, so right from here, we'll move into a half split. So if you are on the mat, on the ground here, you're just going to shift the hips back and straighten front leg only. You can always prop yourself up for a more higher lift there or walk forward to deepen, feeling hamstring. And if your foot is on the chair and you were in this version, you'll just shift your hips back and try to straighten the front leg any amount, breathing into the hamstring, relaxing spine. And if you're in this version, 
with the knee back. I'm going to shift forward back to the chair. Let's extend just the right leg forward straight and then see if you can bring your body forward. Hands can slide down towards the shin and stretching through that hamstring. So wherever you're at, take a few more breaths, breathing into the hamstring here. One more breath. Lift your body back up. If you're on the ground on a mat, go ahead and step back into your down dog. If you're standing, just come to a stand holding your chair. And if you're seated here, just return the legs. We're all going to switch it to the other side. So if you're on your mat, you're going to step the other leg forward into your lunge. And if you're using chair, you're going to step the other foot on the chair. If I'm seated, I'm going to turn my hips and body. I want to be right at the front of the chair so I can let this front leg drop off. And holding the back of the chair for support, let your right knee just fully fall down. And then any amount moving the knee back is going to get the hip flexor. Again, the other options are stepping the foot there, shifting hips forward until you feel the stretch, or maybe being on the ground in that kneeling lunge. So breathe deeply wherever you're at and just really feel the length of the hip flexor. Stay a couple more breaths here. And then we'll all move into our half split. So just shifting the hips back and trying to straighten front leg. So if you're on the ground, the hands might be on the ground or on your shin or some support or going as low as you like. If you're here on your chair, you might be holding the back of the chair or towards the front of the chair. And if you're seated, we turn the hips back front, extend the left leg forward as straight as you can, and then start to bring the body forward. So you're pressing in the heel. And as the hands move down the leg, you might feel that stretch in the hamstring there. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. Relax your neck and your jaw. Just one more breath here. And then everybody lift back up. If you're on the ground on a mat, come back to a down dog. If you're in your chair, just come to seat, sit again. And if you're standing, just come to standing with your hands on the back of the chair. Okay? And if you're in a down dog, go ahead and come all the way up to stand. So we're coming back to a standing posture, hands at heart, or a seated posture, hands at heart, or standing holding your chair for support. Good. And we'll move into a warrior two here. I'm going to start standing. For a warrior two, first separate your legs really, really wide. Nice wide stance. Turn the right toes forward, keeping left toes straight. And then bend your right knee and come into a deep lunge, working the right thigh open, pressing down through back foot. And then arms can either be open or could remain on the hips if it's better for shoulders. You can look over the front hand and then just breathe here. If you're seated, you're going to again turn to the side. So hips are facing side, scooch to front of chair, and then keeping that right knee forward, you're going to extend the back leg back and try to straighten your leg and drive into the back foot. At the same time, try to press the right thigh open. And you can either keep the hands on the back of the chair or maybe you open up the arms. If you're using the chair support this way, you'll step wide, turn the right toes in one direction, straighten the back leg, and then sinking into the hips, but you can use the support of the chair. Maybe just the back arm. Maybe just the front arm. <laughs> Couple more breaths. If you've been standing, I know it might be a while that you're holding, so just one more breath. All right, no matter where you're at, let's straighten the leg for a moment. Just relax that front thigh. Whether you're seated, whether you're uh, we're seated, you'll probably hold it a bit longer. But if you're standing, you can relax. But now come right back in. So if you're standing, rebend the right knee, the front knee. Now, if you've got the chair, you can keep your left hand on the chair, bring the right arm up, and we're going to reverse warrior. So if you're standing, right arm is going to reach up and back. Back arm either down the leg, 
hip for support or around the back. You can always support your neck with top hand. If you're seated, you're still in this same position, but you're also coming into your reverse warrior. So we're finding that side bend. And the back hand can be down the leg or on the hip. Relax the neck, take a couple more breaths here. So if you're standing, you're building strength in the legs. And if you're here, you're really opening the body, but also trying to work the legs by pressing into the ground. One more breath. Now lift the body back up. If you're standing, go ahead and straighten the front leg if you need a little break, otherwise you can keep it. We're gonna come into extended side angle by bringing the body forward. Now you can rest your right forearm to your thigh as you bring your top arm up, or the hand might reach down towards the ground to deepen here. You could even put it on some support. support. You wanna open the chest out nice and wide. Bring the strength of the core. And then you can either keep the arms wide, maybe move the arm overhead. You might even wrap for half bind around the spine to open chest more. And if you have a standing posture and wanna do full bind, if you know what that is, go for it. <laughs> you could always support your head here. If you're using your chair as support, left hand stays. Oops, sorry. Right hand stays as you come forward into this extended side angle. Couple more breaths, stay with it. Good, and then bring your body back up. And we're gonna come to neutral for a moment, turning both toes straight. And if you're seated, you're gonna come back to this neutral seat. Take a deep breath in here, and a deep breath out. Now we're gonna shift to the other side. So if you're standing, turn the left toes pointing forward. The right toes are still pointing towards whatever that side was, and then bending the left knee now. If you're in your chair, you're turning the hips all the way, extend the right leg back and try to stretch strong into the ground. Try to open up the front thigh and either holding the chair, maybe opening up the arms into this strong warrior. You can also do this holding the back of the chair, finding the strength and opening in the hips and then just breathing deeply here. Holding postures can be very challenging, but it's very strengthening. Let's try one more breath. If you're in the chair, go ahead and keep this a bit longer if you can, or just relax. If you're standing, take a moment to straighten that front leg, relax the arms just for a moment. We're gonna come right back in, because that was a long hold there. And when you're ready, come back into your warrior legs. Arms open, and then reverse warrior, so left arm reaches up and back. Again, back hand can be down the leg, maybe a bind, hip for support. Top arm could support the neck if you need. If you're seated, same actions. You can use the back hand to support. Find that deep side bend. If you're using the chair, you're gonna keep right hand on the chair, reach the left arm back to feel that side bend. Couple more breaths here. Lift the body back up. If you're standing, just release that leg, front leg for a little bit there, because again, this is a long hold. And then we'll move into our extended side angle. So re-bend the front knee and now the body comes forward. You can rest the forearm to thigh or reach to the ground. Top arm either to ceiling, opening wide, Overhead is an option, maybe a full, half or full bind. Seated, same choices. Opening the chest, strong in the legs. And if you're holding the back of the chair, one hand on the chair, the other arm up. Can always hold your neck for support. Breathe deeply, just a couple more breaths. And then slowly lift your body up. Okay, so if you're standing, straighten the legs, turn both toes back forward in this wide stance, and we're gonna come into a wide forward fold. Legs wide, toes forward, hands either to the ground, maybe on blocks, or to deep and grab your ankles. If you're standing holding the chair, just back up as much as you need, and then just find that stretch through the spine, stretching the legs. Knees can always be bent. A little trickier to access this if you're seated. So I would just open the legs wide. You have to be right on the edge of your chair here. 
but careful not to uh, let your chair slide or your legs slide and just come forward any amount. You want to flex the toes so the legs are strong and active into the ground. Take a couple more breaths here. Yes, one more breath. And then go ahead and lift your body up. So I want to try doing a malasana variation, which would be kind of a frog pose, a frog squat. So first I'll do the standing. If you're standing here, bring your feet about hip distance apart. Then you're going to turn the toes out and you're going to bring the hips as low as you can. You might be able to sink the hips all the way down here. Press the thighs open. And the hands can stay down or come to the heart and then actively press the thighs open as you lift the chest. If you can't get that low, you could stay a little higher. You could even hold your thighs and you're building the strength and opening that way. If you're seated, you want to find that same open hip, open toes, and then see if you can bring your hands down towards the ground. And if you can reach the ground, pull the chest forward, but actively press your knees open as wide as you can get. So you're feeling the opening and strength into the hips. You could kind of do this as a ballet bar move if you're holding it, where you can hold your chair and sink low. Try to keep the chest up and press the thighs open. You can go as low as your body allows using the chair. Couple more breaths. <laughs> One more breath. And then we'll all stretch back to a forward fold. So bringing the feet maybe about hip distance apart again. Standing, you can release into that fold. And if you want to get deeper, you can even grab your ankle, stretch deeper. If you're in your seat, scooch forward, extend the legs forward, straightening legs, and see if you can come back to that fold. And if you're holding your chair, again, you can just walk the legs back, stretch out the spine, and feel that stretch of the legs and the spine that way. Breathe deeply. All right, and then if you're seated, just come back to a seat. If you are choosing to be on your mat, come back to a down dog. This is gonna be several options for this too. We wanna to get in a hip opener. One option is to do a pigeon by bringing the right knee forward and open wide and sliding the hips back and we're getting into that outer hip. So if this works good in your body, you can take this variation. You could lie down on your back, placing right heel on left thigh and then grabbing underneath that left thigh, pulling your uh, thigh to chest so we're opening up that outer right hip. If you're in a chair and you're able to bring your right heel on top of your thigh and let that right knee fall open, you can do this way and you can even come forward. One more option could be standing, placing the foot on the chair and then letting the knee open and then coming forward this way. Depending on the height of your chair, it may or may not work. Maybe too high, it might be too low. So there's several options of this variation to get that outer right hip. Wherever you're at, slow down the breathing. Maybe even close the eyes at this point and focus on just relaxing and opening up the hip. If you're standing like this, try not to lock your back knee. Keep a softness there and mindful that you're not straining the low back. One more breath. And then slowly lift up. If you're in a pigeon on the ground, a half pigeon, you can move through a down dog in between if you like to switch other side. If you're seated, you'll just switch the opposite ankle on top of your thigh. And if you're here, we'll step the opposite onto the foot on the chair. Let the knee open by rolling on the edge of the foot and then placing your hands on your chair or towards the back of the chair just a softness to the back of the knee. And the more that you come forward, the deeper opening you'll feel now in the opposite hip. Relax the neck and the jaw and just a steady streaming of breath here. Allowing the body to open up. Try to let go of fighting the posture. Try to let go of fighting the posture or resisting and just 
Feeling the breath here, letting go. Good, one more breath. And then lift up. If you're seated, just return the legs. If you're in your pigeon on the mat, you can come back to one last down dog to stretch the body out. And if you're standing with the chair, either bring yourself to a seat on the chair or the ground. So at this point, we'll be coming into our um, Shavasana, our, our final posture. So you're welcome to remain seated and find this seated Shavasana meditation, or you can lie completely on your back for this seated meditation, if that serves you better. So if you're lying on your back, just let the legs open wide, let the palms turn up to the ceiling. You can also put pillows under your knees for more support at the back. Or you might be choosing again just to sit up tall through your spine. Once you do, Allow your body to come back into his place of stillness. Close the eyes. I invite your attention back in. So see if you can again disengage from the thinking mind, the activity of the mind. Bring your attention back into your breath. Feel your body, whether you're lying down or whether you're seated, just becoming heavy and weighted, feeling the earth beneath you, feeling as if that earth is just taking you in and supporting you, taking away any tension, any stress, any negativities, so that you can open up to being in peace and light and love within yourself. And then invite a very slow, soothing breath back in. And as we began the practice, following that slow breath as it moves up and down your body here. A very soft breath, inhaling, feeling that light and energy and peace is coming up through the body, all the way up to the crown. And as you exhale, feeling, following that light energy, moving all the way back down and even all the way to the toes now. A slow inhale, following the breath, all the way up, touching every inch of your body, internally, externally. Very slowly feeling the release of the breath calming, soothing effect, moving back down. Anytime the mind gets distracted, just draw yourself back in, back to the breath, back to feeling this peace and light within you. Stay here, stay with it a bit longer. Allow yourself this time, taking this time out of your day to just be here and now, peace and stillness. A break from life and everything else.
and then slowly begin to deepen the breath without disrupting anything else. Just feel the fuller breath within you, creating a reawakening both to the body and the mind. If you're lying down, you can bring some movement to the fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. And then everyone will start to shift the head side to side gently, seated or lying down, just bringing some movement to the body, gentle awakening. And let's all stretch the arms up overhead. If you're lying down, just take a full, full body stretch. You could even do it seated. If you want to extend the legs as well, point the toes, reach the arms up, just open the body. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale. Relax. If you're lying down, bend the knees and roll onto one side. Take a little pause, curling into a fetal pose. And if you're seated, just bring the hands at the heart. And we all take this moment right here just to seal in the practice that you just gave yourself, that you received, clearing and letting go of what we need to let go of so we can remain in a place of peace and positivity and light. And if you're lying down, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat, joining the hands at the heart again. Everybody creating a lift of the spine, a lift of the heart, a softening to the shoulders, and a gentle tuck of the chin. Good. And all together, let's take a deep breath in through the nose, and then a gentle sigh out of the mouth. And I will close this practice creating the sound of Om, that sound that is the vibration of all beings, the universe. So creating that that connects us together. And you're welcome to join or just receive a deep breath to prepare. And then let's draw our hands from our heart up to our mind so we connect our hearts to our mind space and the higher mind, higher self. Let us be guided more from our hearts rather than the ego mind that keeps us in fears and anxieties and negativities. Moving through life through a space of love instead. Honoring the practice, honoring each other, honoring all the mothers today and the divine love and light within each of us. Namaste.